What is going on guys? I guys and welcome back to a Pokemon strategy guide. Today we're going to the strategy guide for one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, Infernape. If you guys do not know, 4th Gen was my official Pokemon game. I had played Pokemon Stadium in the past, but that was my first main series game and I picked Chimchar, which eventually gave me Infernape, one of my favorite Pokemon. Now we're just going to quick take a quick look at its stats. Its stats aren't that bad. Um, of course it's defense, special defense aren't that good, but you know what? It, it, it doesn't need the good stats, you know? It has 104 attack, 104 special attack, and 108 speed, which means it'll be outspeeding most things, you know? Most things are usually, like, 100 speed are considered fast, so 108 is perfect because you're going to be able to outspeed a lot of things and still maybe be able to run adamant over jolly or, obviously, modest over jolly if need be. Um, so we're going to take a quick look at six guides, uh, or six sets, excuse me, uh, six sets that I came up with and uh, maybe you want to use them in the future. Okay, so what we have here is, first of all, a Choice Bandit set. Iron Fist, U-Turn, Mach Punch, Close Combat, Flare Blitz. Pretty standard uh, attack, max attack, max speed. Uh, I feel like this is one of my favorite sets, only because you can come in with Mach Punch with the Choice Band and with the Iron Fist, still do pretty crazy damage considering it's still a Mach Punch. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen some battle where Mach Punch does like 50% of some poke, and it was a pretty bulky poke as well, so it's pretty cool. Uh, next is a Life Orb set, it's basically the same set except a Life Orb, so if you want to change up your moves you can. It uh, lacks a little bit, power, little bit of power that the Choice Bandit set does, but you know what, it's, it's very very little to pay considering that you can swap up your moves and it may actually save you the match. Next we have a Life Orb set with, this isn't a set, more of like moves you can put on it. Nasty Plot is always there, Overheat is always there. Vacuum Wave is an option, but M Mach Punch is m more commonly used because Iron Fist it uh, does boost Mach Punch stronger than it, Mac, Vacuum Wave does, but if you have Max Special Attack, you won't notice that, so... I don't know. <laughs> it, 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 it's basically what you want. And uh, you can, can catch people off with Vacuum Wave, because maybe it do more do more damage. Like, an Aggron will take a lot more from a Vacuum Wave than it will from a Mach Punch, I'll tell you that. Uh, next we have a Choice... Oops. Next we have a Choice Specs Infernape, with uh, Iron Fist, U-Turn, Overheat, and... Um, Iron Fist U-Turn. <laughs> U-Turn, Overheat, Focus Blast, Hidden Power. Again, the Hidden Power is not Hidden Power normal, it's just kind of Hidden Power. We put in Bar Ice, in Bar Grass, you know, Hidden Power Electric, you know what, screw it, you know, who, who, whatever you want, man, whatever you want. Next we have a Life Orb set, uh, Fake Out, Mach Punch, U-Turn, clo Close Combat. Most people don't run Fake Out. Uh, you know, you know, you want to put a Flare Blitz or Earthquake or something on there. But again, Fake Out is a really, really great move, and Fake Out and Mach Punch, the two put together, you go for a fake out, after stealth rocks and a fake out and a mock punch, you may even kill it, you know, depending on what poke it is. And finally we have a focus sash set, now you may notice that a lot of these pokes uh, can use the focus sash, and that's the thing I love about Infernape, I have not even mentioned some of the crazy moves it gets, it's, it gets acrobatics, so you could be uh, something crazy, it gets bulk up and calm mind, it gets encore, um, you see grass knot, low kick, Hone Claws, a nasty plot, Poison Jab, Power Punch, Slack Off for some reason, Stealth Rock as well. Uh, it gets crazy moves, and I think that's why I always say Infernape is the most versatile Pokemon in UU. Some people might say Needle King, but let's be honest. Needle King, he, he runs Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, I Ice Beam, Earth Power, Sludge Wave, that's it. And if not that, it's a physical Needle King, and it runs basically the same moves, but... Poison Jab Earthquake, you know? It's, to me, Infernape will stay the most versatile Pokemon in New Yu uh, of the whole game. You can make a pretty decent argument for that. So uh, that's going to be all for this video, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to heavy slam the like button and subscribe for more Pokemon content involving me and Pokemon Showdown, Pokemon Liquid Crystal that we're doing now. Uh, if you want to check that out, make sure to do so. Link will be in the description. And with that said, guys, I will see you guys in another video. Until then, guys, take care. Bye-bye.